uh, on the route to peak performance are more of the barriers to achieving that external or internal? I think that's a really good question because most people, I think, see barriers as being external. And in my job, you know, my primary area of focus is what does this person have the capacity to do and what is preventing them from being where they could be and, and getting there. Um, I find that most people know, like probably people in the audience know deep down that they could probably be, you know, better and more than where they are right now. It's usually true of founders and very successful people in their space. They're hungry, they wanna get there, um, but they kind of don't know how to get to that person they know they could be. And so the job really is to remove barriers, kind of remove those areas where they're struggling and get them you know, kind of from where they're at to where they know they could be. It's that kind of messy middle that forms a lot of different barriers, a lot of different challenges, and you know, kind of pulling them to that space forward is what the work is all about. And we see that companies begin to reflect the founder's strengths and weaknesses. And so it's my job really to get them to sit optimally in their seat, you know, at operating at their highest capacity, focusing on the right things, and internally feeling confident, engaged, and really motivated to be pushing forward in the place, um, in the place where they are and the businesses they're a part of. So for me, like uh, as somebody that focuses on marketing, I, I know a lot of different places that I can go to uh, learn some of those marketing skills. Uh, right. Where does one go uh, to develop some of those internal skills that are needed or to, to overcome some of those internal shortcomings? I think there are a few different areas, actually. You know, I think that we start with a place of self-awareness and that you know, knowing who you are and being brave enough to really look internally and say, you know, these are things I'm really fantastic at and being able to name those. I think that's important, but being able to say, these are things I really struggle with. And maybe it's things like communication or taking risks or navigating uncertainty, or, you know, the list goes on and on and on. And I think that there are a number of areas you can go for direction. You can look for mentors in your space, right? If you're a new CTO, you're someone who's maybe new to a CMO position, there are other people in those spaces that have probably navigated very similar hurdles, had to make similar decisions, and can really help you with the tactical elements of your job. But I think that internally is where, you know, it's hard to find that kind of direction. A lot of times people are looking toward, you know, uh, business books or some of, you know, biographies. We were talking, you know, prior to starting this about the importance of biographies and looking to how other people have navigated areas. And so I think, if you're able to you know, connect with those as well, I think that can be really useful or you hire someone like me uh, who's kind of paid to dive in and dig in, figure out where those unlocks and challenges are and really pull you forward a little bit and push you um, to take some risks and challenges and also to be able to let go of some of the things that maybe you put a lot of energy into that aren't worth your time. And so, you know, working with someone like you is, is, is helping people kind of unlock their peak performance as, as sort of a level setting question. What is peak performance? Is that uh, outcome based? Is that process? Is that strictly career? Is it also personal life? Um, what does somebody operating at peak performance kind of look like? That's a great question. I think that it's someone who is operating in what they see the highest capacity for them in their seat. So depending on what your job is, if you're running a law firm or you're you know, operating your startup, um, there is a, a way in which in your mind's eye, you know you should be optimally and kind of getting you to that level. And when you ask if it's outcomes-based or more process-based, I think for me in my role, it's outcomes-based because I have a certain I have a certain idea of where this person can go when we meet. And usually that person discusses with me like, hey, this is the area I'm struggling in. And so for them, I think it's going to be a process-based experience. They're going to go in. My expectation is that every week when we meet, we're going to be pulling in areas that they need to be you know, challenging themselves, working on, diving into in vivo, in their companies, and trying a, a number of different things to really challenge themselves and get to the place where they need to be. Um, People who work in this space, as far as you know, the clients I have, I always think they're incredibly brave because you really do have to face things that scare you head on and things that maybe you're not so great at or not so good at. 
Um, for example, I have a lot of founders who are previous engineers. And, you know, I'm not going to put everybody in a box, but sometimes, you know, the communication, people management can be more of a challenge. And so being able to get up front, out front, manage people, be able to give clear directives, being able to kind of motivate their team, tapping into some of their emotions and excitement, being able to translate that to their companies can be hard. And so how do you begin to do that step by step? Well, you have to start from within yourself and then begin to kind of pull that forward and bring that forward. And you can't be an un, uh, un a kind of inauthentic person but what I try to do is get whatever that fire is inside of them to kind of pull forward. And everyone's really got that. It's just a matter of how we bring that out and doing it in a way that makes people feel empowered and, uh, and not self-conscious and, um, and kind of tamp down a bit. 